Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here from YouTube. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Nervous Network CKB. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you're at in the world. Now we are looking at CKB. And really the reason I haven't dropped a video on CKB in the last four days is because it's doing exactly what I said it was going to do. Form into this symmetrical triangle or descending triangle. So with that said, we are one for two right now. So if this thing drops back down, we'll know that, hey, this thing might be some sort of descending triangle that is about to break. But when we've got a little bit of a bear flag kind of like this, uh, it makes me excited a little bit because I do think that we are nearing a potential pivot point for the markets right now. And if you guys have seen my videos over the last few weeks, I've been talking about how uh, right now, July 5th, somewhere in there, is going to be a very significant point in time for the crypto markets. Why? Because Fibonacci time sequence says so. And we'll get into that in just a second. So when we've been squeezing sideways like this, there's no reason I should be making a video to waste your time. But we've got this conversion line in Ichimoku Cloud Trading, trading parallel to the baseline, which is this little thin blue line right here. Whenever we see this setup occur, especially when the 50 moving average is underneath this 200 like this, it gets me excited, especially on these larger time frames like the daily chart. Because once we see this red little line start arcing upwards, we are likely to see a pretty decent size explosion in price happen. Or if this breaks down and starts pointing downwards, we will see a, a very bearish drop off. Uh, so with that said, folks, we are really riding this 50-50 right now. Conversion lines trading with the baseline uh, parallel horizontally. Uh, really on the daily chart, we can see that this death cross has occurred with a 200 moving average and the 750 day moving average. Whenever we see these death crosses happen, in most cases, in some cases, it indicates that the worst is over. So I am optimistic that this thing is going to squeeze some positive results. But here's the kicker, folks. I'm not ever going to sit around and bullshit anybody. But we've got a very thick Ichimoku cloud here, or this portion of it at least is. And that's going to be possibly hard for price action to break through. But if we kind of wiggle our way like this and try to get through the Ichimoku cloud and maybe come out somewhere over here, uh, that would be sweet. Um, but uh, if we can just rip right through this, of course, that's going to be wonderful. So my first line of uh, resistance that I'm calculating is going to be this 0.004653-ish level. To the downside, if we break this 0.0033-ish level or even this 0.00282 level, uh, we better watch out because bad things could be happening. It would not surprise me, though, to see a retest of this level uh, to the downside before moving back up. So it's kind of a double-edged sword if the price action moves down, and it might even be preferred. Uh, so with that said, keep your eyes on some of those numbers with CKB. There's not a whole lot else I can talk to you guys about, really, other than the Bitcoin thing. So what do I mean by uh, Bitcoin and, bear with me here, the 750-day moving average and the death crosses and stuff like that? Well, we can see that this 200-day moving average is almost going to death cross the 730-day moving average. And let's just go ahead and look at what happened in any previous instances that this happened. Boom. We got a pretty much damn near spot on reversal or middle of the bear market. 
So when people ask me if I think that we're in the bear market, you know what? Obviously we are. But do I think that the bear market is going to be over with anytime soon? The correct answer to that is nobody knows. But when I go ahead and drop Fibonacci time sequence from this November, December 2013 high down to this uh, low of the 2015 bear market, it produces us three Fibonacci time sequences. One of them uh, is kind of, you know, nothing, which that's okay. But there's another time sequence that predicted the damn near middle of the bear market reversal right alongside this 200 moving average death crossing the 730. So where are we at now? Time sequence, 200 moving average is crossing over the 730 day moving average on a Fibonacci time sequence. And I've been kind of mentioning that this could be a possible inverse head and shoulders situation that's played out. And I've been getting a lot of flack for like the last, I don't know, months, even, even thinking about this. But at this point in time, I, I think that maybe we could be seeing or gearing up to see the end of this bear market. Or really, maybe we are getting to this halfway point in the bear market. It could still get worse. Nobody knows until we know, right? Uh, so with that said, folks, I mean, be careful out there. Be safe. I know a lot of you guys are out there with frozen accounts, with Voyager, things like that. That totally sucks, and I get that. And so I made another video that you might want to check out on my experience of when I absolutely lost everything about 13 years ago-ish, somewhere in there, financially and physically, because I was in a car accident. So you might find some comfort uh, in watching that video, uh, and, and in a way we are battle buddies if... The Voyager platform goes under and you lose all your crypto. But I just want to uh, just reiterate, nobody's lost anything technically as of yet. It's just on lockdown. Uh, we need to wait uh, until Voyager says you've lost all your crypto or, you know, whatever. It just is what it is. So more patience uh, must be had with this situation, even though it's very frustrating. I know. Um, you know, and it's really damaged uh, Voyager's reputation, and I'm no Voyager Maxi by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but with that said, folks, hope you guys all have a wonderful day wherever you're at in the world, and we'll see you guys all on the next video.